Hello, this is Al, K0CN, and I'm back again with my Flex 6000 series radio running Smart SDR version 1.8.4. In this video, I'd like to take a look at the Flex Radio Smart SDR CAT interface. CAT stands for Computer Aided Transceiver and is a software protocol which allows us to communicate with a radio through a serial interface. This connection allows third party software such as a logger or a digital mode program to work with your rig. Flex Radio is already connected to your computer, but if you're interested in running a third party program, you'll need to create a bridge between the Flex Radio and the program. This bridge will be a virtual COM port, which you can create using the Flex CAT program. The COM ports that you create using the CAT program will be used by the logger or a digital mode program for rig control, transmitting, and other functions. Okay, let's take a look at Smart SDR CAT. When I start up my computer or log into my user account, Smart SDR is started and will remain running until I close the program. One of the ways to open the CAT window is by clicking on the CAT icon in the system tray or the computer's list of applications. When the window opens, I see the software version that I'm running. I see that I'm connected to the radio. And below, I see the COM ports that have been created. The COM ports you see here are the ports created when SDR software was installed. A closer look tells us that COM4 is a CAT port set to control slice A. Auto switch TX is active and there is no process connected to the port at this time. The second port is identified as a TCP port and the port number is 5002. TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol and it allows hosts to connect and exchange data. It is associated with slice A and the auto switch TX is active. This TCP port is primarily created for compatibility with a third party software called DDUTIL or DDUtil, as some pronounce it. A powerful utility that provides connectivity between the Flex Radio and a number of peripheral devices, such as your amplifier, a step IR antenna, a rotor, or others. The bottom of this window has four buttons where we can add a new port, edit an existing port, log the exchange between the host and the client software, and finally remove a port. To create a new virtual serial port, click on Add. The Add Port window will appear. Here, we can choose the port protocol. There are four choices, CAT, OT, RSP, PTT, and WinKey. Each protocol has a language or a set of commands that allows us to communicate with a radio or a device. As we stated earlier, CAT, or Computer Aided Transceiver, provides us with a way to communicate with a radio through a serial interface. OTRSP, or Open Two-Way Radio Switching Protocol, is used to facilitate single operator two radio configurations and will be of great interest to contesters. PTT, or Push to Talk Protocol, enables serial port control of the transmit mode. Finally, the WinKeyer port emulates a subset of WinKeyer functionality for easy integration with logging apps such as N1MM. Next, you can select the port type, either serial or TCP. You can create a Flex Virtual Serial port or set up an existing port already present on the system. Next, you select the COM port number. Assign a slice receiver to be associated with the port. And finally, you can enable or disable auto switch TX slice. This allows you to use multiple slice receivers to monitor multiple digital mode applications all at once and to have the TX function automatically switch to the correct slice when the transmit command is given. Now let's take a look at our computer and see how the COM ports are mapped out. I'm running Windows 10, so some of the controls may look different or paths may vary if you're running Windows 7 or some other version. 
The controls, however, are similar and you should be able to find the device manager window and look at the ports. On Windows 10, I'll go to Settings, Devices, and then Device Manager. In the Device Manager window, I'll locate Ports, COM, and LPT. I'll click on the Twisty, and now I can see a list of the COM ports. When I look at the list, I can see COM3, which is a USB port that was assigned by the computer to control my flex control. The flex control is an external device, an accessory, which allows me to control my radio using an analog knob. I also see COM4 and COM104. This pair of virtual serial ports was created by the Flex VSP program when the Flex Smart SDR software was installed. When the ports are used, one half of the pair will be opened by the Smart SDR CAT application and the other half will be opened by the client, for example, the logger program. So if we create additional virtual serial ports, they'll be created in pairs. Let's look at an example. I wish to use Ham Radio Deluxe HRD with my Flex 6000 radio. For the sake of this example, I wish to connect the HRD program using COM6. Because my existing COM port 4 is being used by another software application. I'll call the SDR CAT window to the surface and see that I do not have a COM 6 available, so I'll need to create one. To do this, I'll first click on Add. On the Add Port window, I select the CAT protocol. I leave the port type on Serial and I leave the Serial port on Flex. VSP. Next, I'll choose the COM port number, COM6, for the client COM. This is the port that HRD software will see and use. Next, I intend to use HRD with slice receiver A, so I'll not change the VFO slice. Finally, I'll leave the auto switch TX slice enabled and press save. In a few seconds, a new port will be created and appear on the list of ports. I'm now finished creating the new COM port number 6. Now to use the new port. I'll start the HRD program and see the connect window appear. Under the new tab I'll set the company to flex radio. Next I choose smart SDR in the radio drop down box. Next I select the COM port COM6. And finally, set the speed or baud rate to 19,200 and press the connect button. Now my Flex 6000 series radio should be connected to HRD. I should see the radio control window open and the frequency should match the frequency on the Flex flag. That's it. I've created our new COM port and connected the radio to HRD software. Let's step back for a second and remember what this process would look like if I were to connect my previous radio, an ICOM or Kenwood radio with knobs, to HRD. I would have to plug a cable into my radio, run it to an interface box, for example a signal link, a rig blaster, or a microham, then I would need another cable to connect the interface box to the computer and run driver software to allow the components to communicate. This is all very doable. I did it for years and it worked very well. But now with the Flex Radio and Smart SDR, I can do this without additional cables or external boxes. I have much less clutter behind my radio and possibly less chance for RF feedback issues. Well, that's all for now. I hope you found this helpful when working with COM ports and your Flex Radio. Wishing you all good luck and good DX. This is Al, K0CN, and thanks for watching.